Coinbase and Kraken servers literally run on potatoes. And I have the proof right here. Coinbase is trash. Kraken, garbage. Gemini, it's the bee's knees. Just kidding. Coinbase and Kraken servers aren't that bad. Gemini just doesn't have potato servers and they have really great uptime, meaning that their servers usually aren't down when you're trying to do something important, like maybe sell your crypto at a really good time instead of 30% lower than what you were going to sell it at. And in full transparency, I do have Coinbase and Kraken accounts and I mainly use those so I can get the cryptos that Gemini doesn't have. So in this video, we'll be seeing if bees really have knees. Answer, they do. And I mean, whew, look at those damn things. Just kidding. So in this video, I'll be showing you how to set up a Gemini account. And if you're looking for astrology stuff, you came to the wrong video, although I am a bull moon sign. And I highly recommend while you're buying or selling crypto to be using an antivirus, an anti-malware, and a VPN because it helps protect you from any hackers that are trying to steal your tendies hard-earned tendies. So Avast is the program I use and they have antivirus, anti-malware, and VPN all in one. You have this free protection right here. Uh, that doesn't have the VPN, I don't think. But if you go here to get Avast Ultimate, you can get 10 devices. And I would do that so you can put it on your phone and your computer as well. And right here at $6.49 a month, you will get charged for the full year here. But that's just uh, what it would be broken down per month. And this is what I have. And here is the program itself. It's pretty simple. You go to protection, go to virus scans, run smart scan. So that'll scan your whole computer. And then if you go to menu, you can go to the secure line VPN. If you click that, then the VPN window will pop up and you have it right here and then all you have to do is turn it on and it's really that easy and i definitely recommend this you know it's a small price to pay so that all of your money doesn't get stolen so i'll be speeding up some parts where you just have to enter in your own info and all the hard parts we'll be doing together all right so what is gemini gemini is an exchange just like coinbase and it's a brokerage. A brokerage is a company or business that facilitates the trading of assets between the users. And they also hold some of that asset to provide liquidity. And if you want to know what liquidity is, look it up. So the Winklevoss twins, why am I talking about these two tall pieces of Facebook theft? They actually founded together Gemini Exchange. And if you haven't watched The Social Network, I suggest you do. You have over here Lex Luthor playing Mark Zuckerberg. So basically, the Winklevoss twins came up with the idea of Facebook, decided to show it to Mr. Zuckerberg over here. Then he stole it. They had this whole legal battle between them. But they also bought Bitcoin in 2013 at around the price of 120 bucks. They bought $11 million worth of it. And now that it's reaching 40,000, that's just, you know, a small gain of 333 times. Do the math, 333 times 11 is a whole buttload of Bitcoin money, bro. All right, so just go to Gemini.com, make sure it's the legit one, it's just the .com one, and then click on get started. And you may notice that my mouse has a trail to it and I did that just so it's easier to see where my mouse is and where my focus is during these videos. So just fill out this information right here. You can go ahead and pause the video during these parts because I will skip right through them to make the video shorter. So just go ahead and hit that pause button. The next page is just adding your mobile number. So go ahead and do that and click next. I already have this set up with two-factor authentication, which is basically an app you download which gives you a code. You will be texted a code, so just go ahead and enter in that code that you were texted. All right, so you'll have this identity verification page. Just go ahead and go to driver's license or passport, whichever one. But basically, take a photo with your phone, click continue. They'll send you a link through SMS. Follow the instructions on the link when they send it to you. They'll walk you through taking the photos and then you just come back to your computer and complete your verification. So this is called KYC, know your customer, this is standard. So they can get all your money for taxes. So you have your phone number right there. Go ahead and click send link. Or you can just copy the link. All right, now it says check your mobile. And then just go to your phone, you'll be sent a text message, click on the link in there. Alright, once the link opens up, you can go ahead and 
take a photo. It'll say submit government issued driver's license front. So take a photo of the front of your driver's license if that's what you're doing. Uh, if you're doing a passport, it'll be a little different process. So wipe off your camera lens. Make sure you take a clear photo and turn off the flash because you don't want any glare or blur on it. So that way you won't have any complications uh, with getting this verified. So go ahead and click confirm. Mine's taking a little bit to load. If yours is taking a while, go ahead and pause this part of the video. All right, mine loaded up. It says submit government issued driver's license on the back. So take a photo of the back part of your driver's license. It'll have that check readability uh, page again, and then just go ahead and click confirm. When you're finished, it'll say upload successful. You can see on your computer screen that it says document uploaded. So go ahead and click submit verification. And then you just enter your driver's license number in here and click next. Then the next page that pops up is uh, just to enter your address. So just go ahead and enter that in and click next. Dope. So now it says welcome aboard. You can go straight to add funding source. Uh, we can do that later. I just want to show you the layout of Gemini. So over here, you have your complete your account, confirm the email, send to that email, add funding source to start trading. And then you have your markets right here. As you can see, uh, Gemini Exchange has a ton of different cryptos. So first, let's actually go and confirm the email that was sent to that email. So your email should look something like this. Just please confirm your email. So go ahead and confirm your email. And boom, on the website, it should say success. Your email is now confirmed. So when you actually click view details to make a trade here, it'll say we are verifying your identity. So that'll take a couple days to verify your identity. And then you can go ahead and uh, start transferring money. So set this up beforehand and then you can start trading. So one quick thing I do want to show you is how to get that view that I was in before in the beginning of the video. So go to account, go to settings. Go to exchange on the left, right here. And then you want to choose Gemini Active Trader. Otherwise, you're actually going to get fees just like you're getting in uh, Coinbase. So go ahead and click Gemini Active Trader. And then that way, you can go back to Gemini Exchange and then it will look like this for you. And this is the view that you want to not get screwed over in fees just the way that Coinbase does. All right, so I'm gonna show you how to transfer money into your Gemini account. Go to transfer, go to deposit into Gemini. And then here, it'll say we are verifying your identity, but you have to add a bank account here. So go ahead and add a bank account and you can do this while you're still getting verified. And if you do a debit card, you'll actually get charged more. So I just go to automatically link your bank account. Click get started, continue. Select your bank and type in your username and password once you select your bank. This is a regulated U.S. exchange, so don't worry about putting in your username and password for your bank info. You'll do a CAPTCHA, and if you have multiple bank accounts, you just choose one of them, and that's where your funds are going to come from. And then I'm here in my legit account that I've had for a long time, and then as you can see here, you can just choose USD here, and then select the deposit method, and you choose your bank and then you choose your transfer from. Click continue and then you literally just choose any amount in here. So if I wanted to put in 50 bucks, I can do that and there's no fee. So go ahead and click continue. And as you can see down here, it just shows you your data to confirm. Go ahead and click confirm. And then once you click confirm, it should say that the deposit has been um, added into your account. So if you refresh this, you'll see that you have now a USD balance of $50. You can also click on account and go to balances. And it should show you all your balances right here. And if you go back to Gemini Exchange, it's an instant transfer. Something to take note of also, you can't transfer this out of Gemini for four to five days until the transfer from your bank has completed. So I'll go through and show you actually how to buy some crypto. So instead of Bitcoin, I'm going to choose ETH because in another video, I'm going to show you how to use Uniswap, which only takes Ethereum. And Uniswap is a decentralized exchange, and we'll get into that in the next video. So before I show you how to buy, 
Let me just go over this UI real quick. So you have the buy and sell section right here. Uh, and I'll go over this later and, you know, big buy and sell button. Um, you have the last price right here, the bid ask, 24-hour change, 24-hour range. So that means that the price has been ranging in between these two prices. You have the time frames up here. So right now you're looking at one-hour prices. So each one of these little sections, do you see where my mouse is, like, jumping to the next area? Um, that's a one hour time span. So if you look down below on the bottom, you can see that it's February 5th, 16 o'clock, February 5th, 17 o'clock. So you have other options like six hour, one day, and you can see one day you can scroll to zoom in and out. Basically, it shows you just a larger span of time. So let's stick to the one hour. And you have this right over here, which is the candlestick chart. So um, it shows you candles instead of a line, which we were at previous and in another video uh, I have how to read charts if you really want to know more about how to read these charts then you can watch that video but that's outside the scope of this video so over here on the right you have the order book and basically these are all the orders that are on this exchange and you can see that there's an order price and once this price hits the order price this sell or buy order will be hit and you can see on the right column that there's a cumulative quantity however many coin right here is uh, being bought and as you can see you don't have to buy a whole coin you can buy fractions of a coin so it can go down to one two three four five six decimal places so really you can buy 0.000001 or 01 of a coin. I actually don't think you can even buy buy that much. Or maybe you can. Nope. It's got to be greater than 0 0.001. That point amount is just calculated based on, you know, if you type in just a random number of USD, that's actually the um, amount of ETH based on the current price. All right, and down here is your open orders. These are the actual orders that you have open. I have one that I was doing previously with that $50 I just put in. Um, I was getting ahead of myself. So I'm actually just gonna show you how to do a market order in this video. I'll be making another video on all these different types of orders, like what is a limit order, what is a stop limit, what is a maker or cancel, immediate or cancel, fill or kill. And when I do make that video, I'll link it down in the description below. So then to do a market order, you really just go over here to the order section on the left, click on order type, set it to market, and that is the most simple type of order that you can do. This type of order will automatically buy the coin that you've selected at the current price, which is 1688 or 1687.72 right there. So in the total section, just type in the amount. I think that this might be ranging possibly come down a bit so I'm just gonna buy a little amount right now you can buy as little as you want so for example I'm just gonna buy five dollars worth and the fee is only gonna be 0 0.01 since the fee is 0.35 percent of the total amount that you're buying so always confirm your orders whether it's a market or a limit or any other type of order read it over make sure that looks good go ahead and click confirm when you're sure and right there it says your market buy order has been placed and this was an order that I had a little while ago but if you go to your completed orders you can see that it was filled right here so there you have it I'm not gonna go over any of the other types so that I can keep this video short if this was your first time buying a crypto congratulations you did it welcome to the crypto world I hope you have so much fun making gains and to keep this video short I'll be making another video on how to transfer from coinbase to Gemini as well as another video on how to get interest on your crypto on Gemini or even other websites and other exchanges thank you so much for watching this video please give it a like if it was helpful in any way please subscribe if you're new to this channel and hit that bell notification and share this with anyone who you think could benefit from it and have a great day